All right, hello and welcome back to Lands of Lore. We're playing as Akshel, and I'm actually just gonna head directly to the Urbish Mines from here. We're gonna be stopping in to talk to Dawn, but I think I'm actually just gonna wait until after I get Paulson uh, in the mines. And then all three of us can go together to see her ladyship. What are you doing? You can't just, you can't run away from me. I don't think so. All right, let's continue on. Just making sure he has armor. All right. Anything down this way? No. All right. How about in here? Very good. Set across and then here. There we go. Yeah, that's right. I have a crossbow as well. You jerk. Okay, and up to the Irvish Mines. Collect our green skull. And oops. Going to drop this here as we do not need it we'll just keep the riddle scroll with us and we'll rest quickly very nice all right now let us face the larkon do you suppose there could be another <laughs> entrance that this one may not work i think it'll do just fine so yes the green skull this is the primary use for the green skull. You can save it and use it on other monsters as well, but there's not much of a reason to do so. Larkon causes us to drop our weapons, which is fine, because we do not need them. Weapons don't do very much against the Larkon. Let's collect everything from up here on the top floor. All right. Open this door, and then we must close it behind us in order to open this door. All right, there's a chest. There we go. Key, mace. Mm. Empty. All right, rogue level three, almost four. We should be coming on some of our... Uh, kind of weird lobster enemies, like flying lobsters, similar to the uh, flying spider bugs we had in the Droracle's cave. The primary antagonists on this floor. Some funny jokes on the walls there. Nothing we need to really read right now. I'll play them in the, uh, this doesn't open this, right? It does no. not fit. That opens the door downstairs. We don't need to go in here yet. This is just where the pump is. That through this way. Ah. Excellent dodge. But it will not avail you. Alright, there we go. Excellent. See what we have in here. Most of the Nothing down here. All right. Uh, another one of these guys. And we have alcove here that's empty. That's silver coin. Most of the Coins in there Most and nothing in useless. there. All right. Let's carry on. Finish off the southern wall. We have a fireball scroll, a new spell which. Um, we probably won't make all that much use of simply because we have so many fireball wands that we already have and will be acquiring in the future. Um, uh, sure what to put there. Another oil flask. Actually, oh man. Forgot to collect our oil flasks. Alright, hang on. I'll have to go grab those. No, post it. Actually, we're probably fine without them, frankly. Um, maybe I won't bother. And. Push comes to shove, and I have to go grab my will, but it's usually not really that much of an issue. You know, when you know your way around, you can get through quickly enough, and you get such an abundance of um, 
the oil flasks anyway that I think will be just fine. We have this secret passage down here. Jack's cabinet. And a gentleman hanging out here at a desk. Who gets scared once he finally notices us. At last. Yes, you must talk. Happened to the miners. They all ran away last year when monsters invaded the mine. I alone stayed behind to finish the monthly tool inventory. How did you get in? One of those hideous Larkons has been blocking the only passage. We seek a friend who may be in these mines. Have you seen anyone come past here? I've been hiding under the desk and eating nothing but these stale biscuits for months. There could be a herd of wild horses down on one of the lower levels and I wouldn't know about it. All I want to do is to get out of here. The Larkon at the entrance is now dead. You may make your escape now. Excellent. I'll leave as soon as I finish these reports. Wonderful. I'm going to take I'll this. I'll find that out to you right away. Thanks. I'm also going to take this. You'll need that if you go messing around in the mines. Thanks, bud. Goodbye. All right. Um, so we will want this pick for later. And this is a great helm, which is a little better than what we have currently. So we'll take that as well. And oops. Finish exploring up here. This is another largely meaningless door. There's some lock picks in here that we don't need. Only need the one set. That leads down to the lower level, which we will save for now. And another oil flask. Notes, papers, nothing of interest to us. Nothing here. And I think this is the last doorway. Been wrong before, but uh, I believe so. Ooh, a swarm, that's fun. And another oil flask. Very good, okay. Let's make sure we have filled in our map, we have, and we can now head on down to the first level of the Urbish Mines. Couple of different enemy types down here. One are these kind of Nasher guys who can destroy your armor, unfortunately. They don't have an exceptionally high rate of doing so, but it does happen. Hopefully, that's the only time. Otherwise, I will be out of armor, which is only a relatively minor problem. We have a note here that is, I think, just talking about how the miners have lost control of the mines to the invading monsters. All right, this is the end of where we need to look here. We'll read this quickly. All right. It is true, I tell you. Uh, the rocks are alive. I am leaving this accursed place. Jeff. Jeff. Uh, yeah, so that's referring to um, the uh, creature whose flesh has never lived, which we need to ultimately kill in order to um, get an ingredient for the um, elixir to save King Richard. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, I think we wanna flip this one here and then press this button and a portal should appear, which we will step through. Oh, I was wrong. All right, let's try again. This time we're going to put the other one up. Alright, so we have the north wall pointing up. And we will step through again. And be teleported away. So we are now on the second floor of the mines. And we are surrounded by... Um, Four secret walls, D, as well D, as D, uh, yeah, C. these small portions of uh, clues. Each wall has, oop, not this one. Each wall has a portion oh, of no. the uh, puzzle included in it, and ultimately it spells out left, right, center, which uh, will come up later. Okay, another oil flask. 
some ginseng that we won't need, an empty flask that we won't need, and bracers, which Bacata can use. Empty. Very nice. Let's head on over to the fireball wands that we're going to use. So this is where we use the uh, clue from the wall, so it's left, right, center. That opens this and brings us to this door, which we're going to save quickly. Hang on. All right, and now we're going to hopefully be able to do this puzzle correctly. Um, it can be difficult at times, and it's very easy to mess up. In addition, you have to do it fairly quickly. So we're going to quickly pick this lock on the chest. We grab this nice four-piece bazel cup, this star, this dwarvish helm, which we will replace our other helms with, and that should be it. We'll step through here, throw this and close that door, and then we're going to pick up this note and hopefully press this. Uh, oh. Excellent. All right. We have escaped. Um, it is very easy to mess that up and to become permanently trapped behind that wall. These enemies are very susceptible to fireball, and we will be using our wands on them because they're quite annoying, and I don't like them. Also increases your spell casting quite rapidly up until about level four. It still increases your spell casting before then or after that, but. Um, if you never bother to touch your spell casting until this point, you'll shoot up to four very quickly. Wow. This guy doesn't want to go down. Alright, another chest. And our rogue skills increased again, which is nice. Let's see why I wasn't too worried about not having the oil flasks. We get a second lightning scroll, just in case we did not find it yet out in um, the woods. Yeah, I thought so. Alright. So let's go... I don't know. Yeah, let's go... Actually, let's do north now. North is where I literally just came from, isn't it? Yep. I am an idiota. Alright, we'll head down the western pathway, which... Doesn't have a huge amount going on. I am going to rest up quickly before heading through that door. All right. Over to our fireball ones again. Open this up. And stepping on this closes that door. Hey, get back here. A real jerk. All right, there we go. Um, I'm just going to run through here. There's really no reason to bother trying to do this puzzle correctly. Take this fireball wand, and then we will again run through. Um, you can kind of manipulate those plates one by one to uh, make sure that you don't get hit by the fire as much, but it just, I don't care enough. Uh, it's not enough of a problem to really bother. Very good, so we've collected that fireball wand, and going through there, collecting the wand, and hitting some of the plates at the end, opens that door back up that had closed behind us. And now we will head in this direction. The we'll find the gas is strong. Yes, a gas smell. So we're going to take a couple steps back, fire off a fireball spell, and explode that wall. And behind it are a lot of these guys. And it can be a big issue if you don't have any fireball wands, because they can kill you quite quickly. They do a lot of damage. Um, and it's easiest to kill them with magic of your own, so when you don't have any magic to uh, expend, um, get a lot of deaths there if you go in unprepared. Alright. And a key, which we will be making use of. Excellent. 
forget which of the two doors it opens, but that's okay because, wait, make sure I didn't go too far. All right, good. Um, we're gonna be getting both of the keys anyway, so. Ah, there appears to be someone blocking the way. Let me just step back. Oh, it's dead. Hate fighting enemies through invisible walls. Very nice. All right. And let's go this direction first. All right. Let's put something down here, hold this open, and get the second key. And actually, I think it's probably all we need, but we will still go down this pathway as well. Just to finish everything off. Yes, we have some kind of lore here. All right. It is true right. Yes. Basically the same note as before. I don't know why there's two copies of this note, but there are. All right. I'm being rude here. Creature. Why don't I just use this on Bacata, because why not? Otherwise, I would have just sold it off anyway, so might as well actually use a cell here and there while we have them. All right, and finally, we'll go down this last path this way. We need our keys. Let's see, where did I put them? All right, mine key five. It does not fit. Mine key four is the first one. We're going to go on the more northern path first which has another key here. Mine key five opens that, brings us to this staircase. Head up this staircase, and actually, you know what? Just quickly, I'm gonna head back down, go down the other pathway. There's nothing exceptionally interesting there that we need to see, but we'll just finish off the floor while we're here. There is a pathway here that we can't go down yet. Um, we need to fix the pump first. In the meantime, try some lightning just for fun. Never use lightning. Let's do it again. Ah, resistant little bugger. There we go. And we get the sword flare, which we will not be using for anything. So it is not particularly good. Alright, oops. Alrighty, then let's head up here. We'll rest quickly before we start a new floor. Oops. We'll just heal him, that's fine. Oh, now we'll use one of these Bazel Cups. We'll be getting some better Bazel Cups soon. Clearly, this is not the most restful place to rest. Okay, that's good enough. We'll head up. We're ultimately going to be aiming to go down here. We want to pick up this rock because doing so actually opens up an area um, later on on this floor, which I will show to you. The area that is opened is all the way down at the far end and it is right here. This would have been closed off. Come down here where there's a couple of these guys who actually we didn't see it before. You'll usually see one of them on that first floor where we went through the ooh, wolf. Um, I usually stick with cutter, but let's go with wolf and we'll give him a little extra damage. Why not? Mix it up a bit. Mix puma. All right. And then there is, whoops. A secret wall here, but we're gonna go this direction first. I just walked by one of you guys. No. All right, let's get ourselves oriented. Very nice. We want to go up here. A couple of items to play with. And the emerald blade that we ultimately will be leaving behind, and mine key two, which we definitely want. And we'll explore more up here. See if there's any more friends for us to play with. Let's see, is that everywhere? Almost. 
All right, nothing here. Let's head down some, ah yes, I'll just show you this. So it's an invisible, uh, invisible pressure plate, but if you stand here, then this closes off and it's no longer open. So let's head down some of these secret paths where, try and use some magic to take care of this guy before he destroys our armor. Um, I think there might only be one of these secret paths that actually has anything down it, but um, other than enemies, that is. But we'll uh, investigate anyway, just for the sake of it. There we go. Restore our magic quickly. That's enough. All right, all the way down at the end. Nothing here. Another enemy here. All right. And almost done with the secret paths. Ah, a lot of friends here. Let's grab a wand, huh? go and where was this wall okay so we'll go down this pathway here come through this these guys can poison you but otherwise they tend not to present too much of a problem Just make sure there's no one hanging out behind me what's this say not the best speller it would seem Ah, the Hail Leather Jerkin, which isn't a terrible bit of armor, but isn't particularly great either. Great Maul. Um, ah, it's actually a little stronger than this Great Sword, so I guess we'll stick with the Great Maul Hammerhead. Alright, very nice. And looks like we want to use a little bit of uh, oil here to brighten things up. And then finally we have this last secret pathway, which in reality we actually could just avoid it, but I will head down. Oops. And now this secret wall has closed behind us, but if we flip this here and head in this direction and grab this mine key, and we now have the second one. Let's see, where do we drop to? All right, good. All right, we're gonna take the emerald blade that we no longer want, hit this button, and this portal will open. Which takes us actually all the way back to the beginning. So we're gonna leave a few things here that we don't need to carry with us as they're just taking up inventory space. All right, that should be fine. And we're gonna head back down. Retrace our steps here a little bit. All right. And just step back into the portal. We'll go right west from where we were at. And up here. Oops. And through to here. Now, that second key that we got there was mine key two and the first one that we picked up on the level was also mine key two this opens this door and the other location for mine key two is right where we left um, at this secret ah, this secret wall uh, so this is the one that you know closed behind us. If we simply unlock it there, it will open. I'll also show you that there's another path here, but there's a pit here, and I just don't bother with it, frankly. 
Um, it's not worth our time. So, really that, you know, area over there, that second secret wall and the second mine key too, it really isn't necessary. Um, and you don't need to go there for any real significant reason. All right, we'll step in here, turn this uh, wheel, and we will be dropped down onto level two. And down here, there's really nothing in this area, just a plate that we step on, and this opens a pit. But we must leave something behind. I'm gonna keep you with me. So, let's see, I probably shouldn't leave the riddle scroll. Let's leave this ginseng behind. And this drops us into this pit filled with these enemies, which um, individually aren't all that scary, but they can be a problem when they're ganged up on you like this. Again, particularly if you drop down here and you are not prepared. The other thing that made this a little easier to deal with is the fact that we have not yet been down on the third level of the mines. Um, once you're down here, and there is a second way down here, which we'll see later, um, these nests here start producing these enemies. And they slowly build up and become more and more of a problem. However, ooh, one of these rock monsters who are very susceptible to freeze. Shell, you have so much magic. Um, however, if we come this direction like we did, Ah, oh, second pick, very nice. Why am I going this direction? We will put you right here. Um, not nearly as many of them it spawn. The to the east is not complete. Similar to the Jorical's Cave, we take out these weak walls with a pick. There is another location where we're going to want to use the pick a couple other locations in the mine both to take out a wall and for other purposes we'll say all right very good so here we have some more of these uh sort of bi-headed snake worm monsters and i'm really just gonna abuse the excess fireball ones that we have because I enjoy it. We do want to make sure that we find the nests where these creatures come from so that we can burn them and stop the creatures from spawning. The sound we're hearing is the rock creatures moving around down here on this level. We will be encountering them more frequently once I go through that door, or wall rather, that I just opened. But I need to get over here first. There we go. And we have another nest. be at least one more nest. Oops. There we go. Yeah, perhaps not. All right, let's continue on. I was fairly certain there's another nest. It doesn't matter. Um, we won't really be coming back to this exact area again, so it's fine. And if we do, it's just going to be more enemies for us to be able to kill. This portal brings us back up to the beginning of the mines. So we will leave it alone for now. And actually, I'm going to put this away. Because the enemies we have now are these rock monsters. If... Um, I cared more, I would switch Bacata over to blunt weapons. Um, it's why I keep uh, at least a mace with me generally when I come into the mines. Um, the blunt weapons do a lot better against... There it is. That's what I was looking for. Let's just do that. Um, the blunt weapons do a lot better against the rock monsters. This, I believe, is yes. 
four, four, five. So this is simultaneously a reference to a different game from this company, and it literally means red herring. This note looks like it is important, but in reality means absolutely nothing. The 445, as far as I know, is literally just a way to make it look more important while still, again, being completely meaningless. All right. That should be almost everything. We'll head down this way first. Actually, yep, this is where we ultimately want to be. So let's go here, finish off the map. I believe that is everything. Wonderful. And we will head down this secret wall. All right. And make sure we have freeze out because we have a couple of our rock friends here. Very nice, okay. Let's get our lock picks and open up this chest. Has this gold jewel, an empty flask that we still don't need. Mm -hmm. Empty. Wonderful. All right, let's take this gold jewel, which we use right away to unlock this door. And with both of those levers down, card seems to be stuck. Yes, the cart goes nowhere, but if we flip this switch and head down, we'll go to the left first. And Oxshell really enjoys this. And I think that should be good. All right, we'll head down the center path next, and we will end with the path to the right, or rather, uh, path that takes a right turn, ultimately leaving us on the left. I don't know, however you want to look at it. Supposed east and west would be more accurate than left and right, but I'm pretty okay with it. And we'll look at our map and see that there is a button here, which opens this. Oops. Whoa. And then this. And then finally we come to this here. This appears to be recent digging. And we can knock a off, of coal broke off a bunch of lumps of coal, a which we will do. Coal broke off. A piece of coal broke off. Thank you a for your commentary, Bacata. A piece of coal broke off. <laughs> All right, there we go. Um, oh, where'd you come from, friend? I guess we might as well stick with the pick, just in case we want uh, Oxshell to actually do anything. There we go. That's not exceptionally necessary when your team is uh, trained up enough. Good, and then we will leave this one up, head down the last direction. Excellent. And can hear some rock monsters grumbling, so I'm actually just going to take a nap right here before we head in and say hello to our newest friends. Hmm. All right, pick this lock, step in, and begin the battle. Should be enough, excellent. And now this guy. I believe there should be a third. And that door closes behind you until after you have killed all these guys. So stepping in here again, unprepared, can really put you into a hard way. All right, yeah, opens when the final guy is killed, or maybe when you step on this space, I am actually not certain of that. 
But we will now head down this path. And where's the, oh, it's over here. Hit this button, opens this portal. So just a quick step down to mines level four. And then we switch over to a different section of the mines level four here. There's a switch behind us that I will press and a switch right here that I'll press. Switching off the one behind us, turned that cannon off. And this opens up a doorway with two keyholes, which we will need to address. But first, let's come down here. I'm actually gonna rest quickly just to draw him out. And you'll notice that that magic didn't do nearly as much damage to this guy as uh, the similar spells had done in the past. Probably should switch here, just because I don't have any magic on me. So, not doing a lot of damage, but let's see if I can find my uh, ah, good hit there. Alright, there we go. The reason that guy was taking less damage is because he had a bloodstone, which is one of the items that we need for King Richard's um, cure. That is the creature whose flesh has never lived, the rock creatures. Alright, very nice. We only need one bloodstone. This guy should also, I think, be one of those... Yes. So he'll need additional power as well to take out, which we have plenty of. Very good. And, I don't know, maybe we'll leave this somewhere just as a memento to anyone who dares to challenge our might. We gotta make sure we turn all of these wheels down. This plate on the floor will spin us around until we have put all of them in the, the down direction. Uh, let's go north. Yeah, I'll deal with you in a second. And now we wanna go east. There we go, that's the last one. We'll leave this here. And now deal with our lobster friend. Not good, just making sure you have the right weapons on. We'll head north first. Alright, see this pile of bones? To Jared, head engineer, I think I have located the missing part for the water pump. If I can retrieve it, we can regain control of our mine. Hank. This is an unfortunately easy part to mess up that uh, you may not realize that you need to click a second time to now get this gear. And that is what we needed to restore the mine and clear that staircase that was blocked before. That should be everything up here, correct? Very good. Next thing we need to do is head down this way where, oops, I'm gonna need the pick again. Got to take out this wall. Right, and that opens the way to. Get out! You are in great danger. Flee while you still can. The creepy spirit, zombie, skeleton, and the rusty key, That's which is what we piece. need. The rusty key opens one of those two doors that we saw before. Right, and nothing of interest down here, which is fine. So, uh, the next thing we want to do, right, oops, not the right key, oh well. Uh, next thing we're gonna do, since it is the only way out of here right now, is take this teleporter, which brings us back here, we'll go back up. We are now back up on the third floor, and we have to go all the way back around. Ride the cart. Whee! We actually are almost done now with the Irvish Mines. We're going to take the teleporter I mentioned from earlier. Here it is. 
back up to the top of the mines. I'm going to drop these off just in case I need any storage space. And head off to the pump room here. Oops. And we'll replace this gear. It's, uh, it opened. And put some coal in. I think you only need one, but this maybe it's two. Should... Let's see. Wow. It sure makes a lot of noise. Very nice. That will pump the water out from the lower levels there. And so we will head back this way. And again, we're going to want to take this portal. We'll follow the western path from this four secret walls. Oops. And finally, we'll be able to go down this staircase. And the only thing here is a spinning wall, or a spinning floor, rather, that always points us the opposite direction of where we were. And we can see this button here, so I want to turn this way. Hit the button, and then I want to get to this, so I'm going to turn away from it. And that gives me the second key that we need. And then we can just step off, come here. And again, we want to travel back down there, so probably the easiest way is just to go here. Back around, up to this floor, and fall through this pit again. Very nice. And then we'll just make our way around again. If I can remember how to get there. Nope. We'll give it a few more. All right. Perfect. Head back to the third floor. Cart should already be in the correct position. So, an unfortunate bit of backtracking that must be done, but it only takes really a couple of minutes, so certainly far worse things that uh, games have done to us over the years. Put this shiny key in here. But something more is needed, I believe. And the rusty key. Oops. Rusty key. And then one last trap we have to deal with is this cannon. We'll just wait it out. All right. Spinning pile and able to get out just in time. Now let's go see Paulson. I thought you were lost. We have discovered a recipe for the elixir. We need the keys so that we may apply it to King Richard. I'll join you then. We'll need this key. Excellent. Remember to take the key, otherwise you'll have to come all the way back here. We're off to save good King Richard. <laughs> good job. Um, all right. Lance, a secret button to the south hides my equipment. Let the button be revealed. I love his excitement. All right, let's see what we got. Yes. Chain mail that we'll just let him keep. Dwarvish boots. Great helm. Some oil flasks. Kite shield. Axe vixen, which we are going to give him a better weapon than that. Another oil flask and mine key four. All right, let's just uh, run away from this. Mine key four is used to open this here, and I forget which of these portals leads where, but let's just go dead center, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the right. Right feels right. I was wrong. <laughs> um, all right, what is the shortest way back to the top? Shortest way back to the top will be to go here. Nope, not here. Go here and follow this path down. Yeah, 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 you'll be fine. Run up this way and get back to the original portal. Right. We'll go 
right into this. And actually, wait a minute. I must have missed something down there. Oh, I think I know what it is. Um, actually, this is kind of nice. Uh, it's something that I very rarely see, um, but we will discover what it is I am talking about in the next episode. Uh, because for now, we have completed our time in the Irvish Mines. So I'm going to collect all of our gear and probably make a pit stop in the swamp to sell all of this junk off and buy some more fireball wands. And then when we come back, um, we will continue our adventure to save good King Richard and the land of Gladstone. But until then, see ya.